We are now live. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to FBS Chat. I don't usually do this part. I don't usually uh, open an FBS Chat. That's usually Joe's job, but he's uh, in another meeting at the moment. So today I'm joined by the lovely, wonderful co-host, Mark Matt, who we absolutely admire, um, and he was a guest not that long nice. ago. Um, and today we're going to be talking to Edwin Tan from Singapore. What time is it in Singapore, Edwin? Uh, 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. Well, yeah. thank you for uh, spending your time talking to us today. Um, I, I was actually really looking forward to this conversation today because I think I've only seen you a couple of times through networking and I think SF24, I think I kind of bumped into you. Yes. Um, yeah. So this is a great time to uh, be a bit curious as to who you are, what you do. Um, and I know that Mark and I already decided that we don't like you because you were trained by a certain <laughs> someone. But we will come to that in a minute. Um, so, Mark, I'll hand it over to you and I'll jump in as and when after I do this bit. All right. You're from Singapore, uh, Edwin. Yes. Which, I, which make, makes me curious also. Never been there. Um, and I understood from Isa that she also never have, has been there. Okay. So, can you, can you tell us a bit about Singapore? Because I think it's a very special place. So, sorry, can you say that again? I kind of uh, missed that. Uh, um, yeah. I'm thinking that Singapore is a very special place. It's like a, 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 a city country, or, or how, how could you uh, say this? Um, can, can you tell us a bit about um, Singapore? Uh. What it's like? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice uh, city. Yeah, it's a it's a nice country. Um, quite modern. Uh, yeah, city. Uh, quite small actually. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so born here, I was born here, live here all my life. Uh, yes, uh, how would I describe it? Uh, it's changing all the time, I think. Yes, uh, you have uh, infrastructure buildings uh, popping up, I think, every few years. Yeah, so it's the I think the landscape is um, constantly changing. Uh, even where I where I'm living right now, uh, yeah, I've been at this place, current place, for about ten years now. Um, and in the next couple of years, we're going to, uh, they're going to be they're going to build a under a, a, a tunnel kind of expressway, you know, just just next to where I'm living. So, yeah, so I think that that probably accurately describe what what is happening in Singapore is yeah. is ever changing yes yeah wow yeah it's, yeah. it's like solution focus <laughs> yeah if we if we see it that way yeah maybe <laughs> yeah so you're a social worker ah uh, yes I am trained as a social worker I did my my bachelor and uh and two about two years ago I, I also kind of uh, went and did my master in social work Mm -hmm. And I've been, uh, yeah, uh, in, yeah, calling myself a social worker, yeah, for the last about well, maybe 20 years. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh, you think you're, still, you're still talking it out uh, all, all these times. Um, I also understand that you are uh, trained in so solution focus. Um, can you tell us a bit what you like about solution focus? What fascinates you about it? Mm. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I think I think what what fascinates me about um, uh, solution focus approach uh, was that I, I think the the first thing that really changed my mind is how uh, I I think you know how positive or, or strong um, base it can be. Um, I remember uh, when I first got in touch with Insu Kimberg uh, more than 20 years ago, I, I remember sending her a tape uh, of me. So at the point of time, you know, it, it's still very kind of a uh, kind of a bad, uh, quite, you know, you, you, you kind of record your session is still those videotape. I, I don't know, you know whether you mm. remember them. And then you, yeah, and then you have to send them all off by post if you want to send it to, yeah. Uh, and I remember uh, doing one of that, uh, sending a, a session. Uh, of course, I get the client's permission and and and, and all these things, and then um, sending the tape off to Insu. 
uh, not expecting, uh, you know, uh, what will happen. Yeah. Uh, and I remember getting back the tape a uh, few weeks later, uh, one, two, two months back. Uh, it was unexpected. Um, and, and when I saw the tape and, and then I saw the feedback that came back along with the tape, uh, it, was, it was then that I know that you know, solution focus approach is, is going to be it's going to be something that I, I'm going to learn, and I, I'm going to uh, continue to learn and see if I could master it, kind of. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, so because uh, it was a tape of me learning, uh, learning solution focus from the book, practicing it with the client, and then showing it to Insu. So I was expecting a lot of like. Uh, negative feedback, like you know, you didn't do this well. You know, you could have done it. You could have done this here, kind of, kind of feedback. Uh, but all I got was, you know, how well you did this, and 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 she was amazed that I did other things and, and things. So it was what it was interesting experience for me. I, I never, uh, it was I think the first time that I, I got a uh, positive feedback uh, about uh, a session that I did. Uh, with a client, yeah, and and that really just blew my mind, and I and I was hooked to it ever since. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. What, so what made you uh, what made you send that tape to Insu? Was it was it family based services that you read? Uh, and no, I um I I read uh, what was the first book that I read, but it was interviewing for solution. Yeah, uh, and wow. and and behind, I think in the behind chapter. Uh, you have the the protocol, and then yeah. yeah, you have the protocol, and so I, I was just really just trying to use the protocol and and kind of structured the session that I have, uh, and why why I why I send the tape, uh, because I, I think from my from my own memory, uh, we were trying to invite her to come to Singapore. Ah, uh, yes. So we, we were trying to impress her and say that we are quite sincere and we really want her to come. Uh, and, uh, and, and train us, and so see, we, we are doing this already, so please come, <laughs> right? Mm. right. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and then she came, yes, and she came, yeah, and she came, she came in uh, 1999, uh, did a two days workshop, uh, for, for us, and then subsequently, uh, she agreed to come back some more. Uh, and by then we have a, a class of about 30 uh, social workers, uh, counselors, psychologists, uh, and we even have one psychiatrist yeah, who, who attended the training. And it was a one year one year training uh, by her and uh, a few of her other colleagues from different parts of the world. Uh, so that's how I met I, I, I met Michael Duran, Brian Kate, uh, mm -hmm. Therese Steiner from Switzerland, yeah, uh, and, yeah. and so forth, yeah. Mm. Mm. But she didn't bring Steve. Sorry? Uh, uh, well, the, the first time Steve came uh, oh, okay. with her. <laughs> how, was, how was that? Uh, how was that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah, it was it was it was interesting. I I, I think uh, I think Steve didn't really enjoy that. <laughs> didn't enjoy the yeah. Didn't really enjoy that the the, the visit. Maybe it's too too far away. Um, I'm Hi. not sure. Yeah, but but Insu is 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 okay. Yeah, it's quite happy with with the visit. I I would think yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how how did your how did your practice change after that training? Ah. Uh, or did it? Oh, um, I, I, I think it, it really kind of uh, reinforced because by the time they, they came, uh, we were really, or I was really uh, going into solution focus, uh, you know, really doing and, and trying uh, you know, to use uh, the, the skills and the, and the knowledge and, and building on that. Um, and at that point of time, um, there was a couple of other modality that I, that I liked very much. 
um, and and uh, one of them was uh, NLP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was I was uh, I was learning a bit about NLP at the point of time, uh, and so I I told Insu about that as well, uh, because she was curious about about it, and she asked me how uh, how I was doing that. So I was uh, doing a bit of that, uh, and the other one that I was also quite quite interested uh, uh, at the point of time was transactional analysis TA. Uh, so that was the other modality that I that I was uh, looking at as well. Um, but uh, after I start to learn about SF uh, solution focus, uh, uh, that was really the the, the approach for me. Um, and from there, I think what really changes you start to read more. Uh, you read books by the other people. So I I got to know about Milton Erickson. Yeah, I got to read about Bill Helen stuff. Uh, you know, then you you kind of get to know about Scott Miller work as well. Uh, yeah. So 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 those were and also those were some of the 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 author or the the leaders in the in the field that I I kind of admire and was reading a lot about 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 them and and seeing how I could maybe try or integrate some of those. Uh, techniques or, or, or knowledge that you know uh, into my own practice in working with, with clients uh, and I think one of the best thing that that has happened to me is really then letting go of that um, that you know that I have to do something to fix the client I, I think that for me is the biggest change uh, because for the for the longest time I I, I, I kind of felt that uh, if I can't change or fix a client, I'm I'm like a failure, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I I have a lot of that self doubt that am I am I capable am I suitable to be a social worker, um, and and that was really you know that was really negative for me. I I, I don't feel good about it. Uh, in fact, I I kind of feel kind of you know my my self esteem my my self worth my how I view myself got a beating from from that like you know I, I don't think I'm good enough uh, and I think solution focus learnings about solution focus approach li- liberated me from that really uh, I know and and instead of trying to fix them being the expert I went alongside with them yeah uh, and co- co-create collaborate with them so it becomes a partnership. Uh, with the clients in building solutions rather than trying to do something on them. Yeah. So I think that for me is the biggest shift. Yeah. So so how, how did it work when you shifted this mentality and approach for your clients, for the families you work with? How, how, did, it, how did it work out for them? Did they think, what's he doing? Or, <laughs> or, or, or what? Uh, yes, yes. I, I, I think, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, for the for the few uh, couple of sessions, uh, or really for for the beginning at, at the beginning, you know, the, the the couple of clients that probably experienced this uh, with me, they probably thought that you know this uh, you know this this guy has gone crazy, maybe. Uh, <laughs> And 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 there was and uh, probably some difficulty in trying to understand, uh, and understanding what I was asking them also, uh, because even though the, the question in solution focus approach uh, they're quite simple, but I don't think they are easy to answer. Uh, it re- really requires the, the the clients to 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 think, uh, you know, hard for themselves, uh, you know. Um, and so I, uh, but you know, because I was I was new, right? And I was just learning it, so I don't fear anything. I I I was just persistent in just asking it, <laughs> you mm. know, and asking and just asking it and trying it, you know, and and if it doesn't work, I'm, I for me it's like, oh okay, so this didn't work. All right, ask ask something else, you know. So I was just doing I was just doing that. So, uh. I, I was just really practicing on that, uh, and until it starts to it starts to to you know, 
start to work it, it and you know and perhaps because i also gain more confident uh in using it as well i think that also helps me uh to to continue to ask and eventually i think um yeah i think no i don't think it's i don't think it's a easy uh thing to do uh with client or for clients to to hear or to to listen to the questions being asked um but i think uh you know it's helping them i i think uh, for, for for me i i think it's helping them to maybe be clearer about uh, what uh, maybe the solutions or you know the direction that they are uh, prepare or they are heading towards. Um, so I think surely, slowly and surely, I think you know clients, yeah, buy into that. Uh, and 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 since then I've been you know I think almost all the question, all the session I I ever have uh, with with clients uh, would really just start in the form of you know what is the best hope type of question uh, so what would be helpful for you uh you know to be here today kind of opening that's really uh, how i open all the this how i open my sessions since then to, to now yeah i have another question about um because you learned it from imso and um you mentioned some other international renowned mm. Uh, trainers yes uh, but mostly these um trainings are like in english mm. in an english language it mm. sounds like really easy really mm. familiar mm. but then how did you try how did you manage to translate it into your own language the language of your clients uh, wow, okay. what a beautiful yeah. <laughs> question, Mark. Oh, Joe is not coming back. You are now my full-time co-host. So yeah, you answer that, Edwin. Go on. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was lucky then. Uh, I was lucky then because the, the agency that I was uh, with then, uh, 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 quite a number of us bought into the approach. Uh, and and they were really really interested and keen, and so we were learning about this together. Uh, so out of that, the thirty of us in in that in that group, um, quite a quite a big number of them are my my colleagues. You know, uh, people who you know we, we work together uh, at the, at the center, um, and some of them are quite good in uh, in. Translating and then translating and you know, uh, the questions from the English into into Chinese into man yeah into Chinese, uh, the phrasing and all these things. Um, so I I was lucky that then I was able to use some of those uh, questions that they have translated, uh, and and kind of use it uh, in in the session myself. Uh, yeah. So so I think. I would say that maybe about eighty percent of the session conducted are still probably in English, and maybe about about you know another twenty percent in in my mother tongue and yeah and uh, yeah and in, in Mandarin or in other form of dialect. Uh, but I must confess that I'm not so proficient in some of this. Uh, but being able to ask maybe some of this question, uh, and you know yeah, I I was still able to 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 do that. And uh, and of course, then in um, I think in uh, two thousand and three or something uh, there about or two thousand and yeah, um, I met I met Wei Su, yeah from from Taiwan. Uh, so we I yeah we kind of met online. Uh, attending one of the online module with with Insu and Steve. And, uh, and and later on we we started to connect and we started to talk about. Uh, I know the the use of uh, solution focus idea, uh, I know in in Taiwan, uh, and all these things, and and so so yeah, so again I uh, kind of learn uh, how how they are also translating some of this, uh, I know, uh, from English into into Chinese, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, um, because I also asked a question because um, in my country, in the Netherlands, a lot of people speak English, but in normal day life, we speak Dutch, of course. And um, 
it's not always easy anyway to to get this because if i'm trying to you know the first question what are your best hopes i'm trying to translate it into dutch most of the time people look at me like, well, what <laughs> <laughs> then i have to yes, look yeah. for another yeah. way another way to find this this question yes i'm trying to find what is, what, are, what are people what 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 is the outcome people look for um so um and then often people, of course, begin to tell me their problem. Yes. Um, so, um, so that's why I was interested in, in because I would think about what Elliot says that solution focus is like a language, and uh, another language you you have to learn, and um, I'm still trying to learn it. Mm. And and then, thanks thanks Mark for for sharing that um yeah and and I think for the longest time we we have heard that right that 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 language uh, the importance of language in in in, in solution focus uh in the uh world or approach um and and when we we start to translate it or when we start to use it in our with our in the native form I, um, it, it leads you to wonder whether that that premise still holds true or not, uh, because yeah, I don't know about the Dutch language, like you know, but um, you know, I I I I suppose then in 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 Chinese and in some of the wordings, you know, if you change the wording, would it would it make a difference for for the clients? Uh, and and that is my that is my curiosity. I I don't have the answer, but that is that is my curiosity. Um, so I'm not sure right now uh, about that, uh, and I, I'm I'm kind of uh, having a bit of that that open mind about about uh, discussions that people are having. Um, but I, I I remember this. I I you know I remember this story. It was uh, um, I remember one of the one of the comments that I got uh, very early on when I was learning this, and a, a colleague. Uh, mentioned to me is to say that do you know that you know that the solution focus approach is very cognitive like like you know the question you ask you get people to think and and they really need to think and 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 you know the 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 criticism or the maybe the limitation of it is that uh, the client needs to have some maybe level of connection uh, before you could use it very 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 well with them you know because they, they need to think hard about about your question and and whenever people say that i i got reminded of a client um and uh and i was seeing this mother and 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 and, and daughter uh and they were having conflict uh they were having conflict and and they've been coming to see me um and i i and i was learning solution focus at that at a point of time uh, and I remember asking them the miracle question uh, in, 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 I think, yeah, I don't think I asked it in uh, English because they, you know, the, the mother couldn't speak English and uh, so she was speaking in uh, Mandarin. So I, I have to ask the miracle question in Mandarin. Yeah. And, uh, and so, because like I say, right, I was learning, I was new, I, I have no fear at all. I just ask, <laughs> because I ask you know, right. so I just ask. It's the best uh, way. Yeah, so I ask. And and to this mother who who is not edu who is not highly educated, mm -hmm. uh, she has probably maybe primary school, if not secondary, lower secondary school education. Um, her child is uh, in uh, secondary as well. Uh, so okay. So I, I remember asking the, this mother the miracle question in 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 Mandarin. Um, and she was like looking at me, staring at me. Like, what did you just ask? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm like, okay. Uh, because she kept quiet and she gave me that look where, you know, she was puzzled by, really like <laughs> puzzled by what I was asking. Um, and so I thought, okay, she, she didn't get it the first time. It's all right. All right. Um, going to slow down. Okay. And ask her again. So I kind of repeated it again. 
uh, slower this time. Uh, yeah, and and ask her what was you know, you know, the, suppose she goes home and then she went to bed and then the miracle happened and the miracle the miracle is that all her problems are gone. Tomorrow morning when she wake up, how would she know? Uh, what would be the first thing that she noticed? You know, all imagine, and asking that the second time, I know she again she she gave me that <laughs> really answered like, I you know she could not get it. All right, she could not get it, and I I remember then her her daughter who was sitting next to her was just looking at us. You know, <laughs> asking the question and the mom not being able to answer, and then looking at me, timing and doing it again, and then. Uh, mother not understanding that, and and then she turned to her mother and say, "I know, Mister Edwin was just asking you, and I know that if Santa Claus was to give you a present, what would you want that present to be?" Uh, so she speak to her in, in Mandarin as well. So she translated my my question into something that the mother could understand. And so her mother said, "Oh, a present from Santa Claus. Okay, I I get that. That I know." And so her present, all right, from Santa Claus was that she wants to have a better relationship with her daughter. Right. And so, of course, learning solution for you ask follow up question, right? Like, how would that look like? <laughs> yeah, how would you know? What what would give you a clue? What what would be the size to that? And it's really then all the you know yeah we'll be talking we'll be laughing this kind of you know very normal thing, uh, and and my and I think it's still true today. I think that our client is our is is our best teacher. I think in term of of this, uh, whether we are using in the English language or I think when we translate it to different language. Uh, I think we, we do our best as I, I think the practitioner, the therapist, uh, you know, um, to ask those questions. Uh, and I think they're still our best teacher in, in, in the term, in the sense where how they respond to, back to us. Uh, you know, whether they got it or there's something missing, and then uh, you know, what how then do we ask in such a way that, that kind of connect with them? I, I think it's important that I think that the questions needs to connect. Yeah, with right. with the uh, with the coin and that's, that's yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I I probably that's, that's a beautiful, it. beautiful yeah. example of, of speaking the lang uh, speaking the client's language, no right. matter what that looks like. A beautiful example. Mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. It's nice. Yeah. It reminds me of once of a story I had with the mother and the and, and, and the daughter. They were from originally from Somalia. Uh, but I spoke Dutch. We were meeting, and then I asked this medical question mm. of it to the mother. And the mother looked at me, and then started to talk about what would be happening in the future in all kind of problem, mm. <laughs> you know. And the daughter said to her mother, "No, no, you asked to say this." <laughs> <laughs> this child was like fourteen or something. Yeah. I, I, I thought, oh, really great, you know, really. Yeah, yeah. And then the mother, yeah. oh, okay, you know. So, and yeah, because the issue was the relationship between mother and daughter. Yes. So, so at that time, you 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 saw it happening. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's what yes. I, yeah. I love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Edwin. Yes. So when you wake up in the morning on what day is it today? Today Monday. is Monday. Monday. <laughs> Where do you go to work? What do you do? What projects are you doing? What, what's happening in your life? Ah, okay, right. Uh, okay. I'm just being nosy. <laughs> okay, uh, because now I, I'm working full time. Uh, I'm working full time in a community based uh, agency. Uh, so I am doing a bit more of the managerial kind of uh, work right now. Uh, so once in a while, I might still do uh, client work. Uh, so one on one, uh, with to support uh, social workers and and um, and other helping professional in in my sector. Uh, 
in, in session. Uh, other than that, I, I then typically just supervise uh, my, my, my colleague as well as uh, interns or students from, from, from the uni. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so right now, uh, because of the COVID situation, uh, I attend to stay or, yeah, I tend to kind of uh, work from home uh, most of the time. Uh, if I'm needed to go back to the office, then I, I will go in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so we, and we are community based agency that kind of uh, serve uh, anybody or uh, families uh, within the community. So, anybody could come to, to seek help. Uh, and the social worker will attend to them and, and we do quite a bit of case management, group work, uh, as well as uh, community work as well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, any, any projects that I have? Yeah, currently, you know, because of the restriction, right? Uh, so really a lot, of, a lot of the time is really giving support to, to my colleagues who are uh, transforming some of the services you know, because of the uh, reduction of face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, so bring some of these programs online uh, as well. Uh, so supporting them and, 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 and seeing how, how we could change some of these things. Yeah, practices that, that, that we have. <laughs> so are, you, are all your colleagues on Zoom? Uh, no, not, no, not, 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 uh, not really. Uh, so um, I, they are free to to practice uh, whatever modality uh, that that they choose to 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 to, to do so. Um, so, but do they know about uh, solution focus uh, approach? Uh, yes, I, I think uh, some of them, not all of them, uh, knows about it. Uh, know about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like it. So, so as a manager, is it your goal to move the organization more? <laughs> yeah, it went. If if you ask me this question, right, if, and I I don't know I and I I don't know how this will you know because this is live, right? Uh, but if you ask. <laughs> I'm going to be like the, the least solution focused person that you ever meet. <laughs> uh, if you ask me this maybe about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes. Uh, and I, if you, but the question right now you ask me, uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, for myself, because mm. I, I I am so happy seeing people like you, uh, Elliot, and uh, other other people, you know, at, uh, Emma, uh, you know, and and various other people around the world who is so passionate and is pushing and, and training and, and doing a lot and, and the spreading of that. Um, and and I'm so happy to to see all these things happening. Uh, so I I kind of uh. Maybe taking a back seat. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm taking the position where uh, if anyone who I really within in my in my center or within my organization who is who is excited and interested to learn more about this, uh, I am more than happy to to share that to share this and to train and, and to 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 supervise. Uh, so I actually have uh, a colleague recently who, who is who is not from uh, my center, from a different center, uh, and he he's passionate about about solution focused approach, and he he asked me if I could supervise him uh, on this and help him, and I say oh of course I'm more than willing uh, to do that, uh, so uh yeah I'm, I'm taking a bit more of a passive stance right now uh, i would help and i would uh i would supervise and i would train and support these people who are passionate about it uh but do do i uh, am i then pushing it uh you know like trying to get uh 
No. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone's got to feel quite comfortable with with what they're delivering. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, although, although if if someone say, oh, could you could you do this? You know, could you could yeah. you share with us what is this about? Uh, I am more than happy uh, to do it. You know, uh, and, and share with them. And I've I've done that uh, a couple of times this year uh, within my organization. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but a kind of yeah, but you know, and and kind of uh, planting. Um, I was just, I was just say planting maybe just 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 showing that this is what mm. uh, solution focus is about that mm. these are maybe some of the things that it can do as well um and allow people to explore you know whether this is something that they want yeah mm. for themselves yeah mm. Mm. and Edwin you and I and I know Mark was there as well we, we kind of bumped into each other at SF24. Um, what was your experience of that? I'm quite curious to know. Wonderful. I, it, was, it was really, really a wonderful uh, experience for me. I, and, uh, and I was, I was honoured and, and, and very, very happy to be part of that. Uh, I, I think uh, it was a, a portion, I think it was an opportunity that was brought upon us. Uh, I, I don't think it was planned ahead uh, for that. To, to happen um, and I think for the first time uh, really I think people don't have to travel out of their country mm -hmm. to participate in the event and because it was 24 hours people could go into any of the time zone and I know that you stayed throughout 24 hours so 22 you, hours I managed 22 <laughs> <laughs> you were 22 crazy. hours i fell asleep <laughs> and then i woke up and i thought oh my god amazon right now it's 5 a.m in the uk amazon amazon and i quickly logged on and emma looked at me and went no one else had logged on and she went are you okay you look <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it was so, great listening to yeah, you very yeah. inspirational which you which is what made me reach out i thought wow i want to i want to yes. chat with this guy yeah, yeah, and and I thought it was, and and I I actually believe that it was really an event that kind of bring the whole community together. Um, for me, I I think that that has always been I think my my biggest my my biggest wish or hope and dreams that that the that the SF community could come together. We have all the different conferences all over the world and all these things. Uh, and it's nice sometimes if you could travel and, and do that. Uh, but to really, I you know, really have so many people from so many places or countries coming together, you know, in a common platform, uh, you know, listening and, and, and sharing and, and just being there, I think, uh, even though it's online, I, I, it, was, it was a fantastic, brilliant experience for me. Yeah. How many hours did you manage, Mark? Oh, I don't know. I, I think I, I stayed in my own time zone. Maybe a little bit more here, maybe, but look. Yeah. I'm no Iceland. I, I went all over the world that day. Yes. <laughs> I need to be in Asia. <laughs> you had a lot of flying out. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I, yeah I was, it was it was an amazing experience but yeah, it's, it's as edwin said it was it, gave, it really gave me uh, and i know many 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 others an opportunity to kind of meet people all around the world and be inspired um by what they're saying and what they do and and which is you know is brilliant and i, I look forward to next year yeah yeah, yeah. thing is i think is it yeah it was a platform for i think uh, uh, people to showcase and to to show what what they are doing and uh, yeah. and how I think uh, solution focus has spread uh, yeah. you know throughout the world uh, and I think that perhaps we we are probably you know yeah I think the 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 not sure about this, but perhaps really the first one that has done this, mm. uh, you know, coming together as you know, coming together 
uh, know all over the world uh, doing this. Um, and I and and yeah, so I, I'm I'm hoping that next year we, you know that there could be more people you know uh, showing uh, you know showing us what what else is happening. I think yeah. this time around, yeah, I think this round this time I think because it was the first time we were trying it, uh, and 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 the technology is can be a nightmare and, and the different time zone and and how you kind of coordinate and, and work together and things like that. Uh, so a bad, a lot of the back end stuff that that is happening, you know, and and uh, and yeah, and so we we might not have, uh, yeah, we we might not have, uh, some people who who are doing great work as well presenting, uh, but I'm hoping that you know as we learn from the first one that more could come on board next year, mm. and and we can really yeah listen to to their story as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, I I think you did an amazing job. And every time I came into the room, Mark, I kept going into the room going, Edwin, which room shall I go into? I need an e I don't understand what they're saying. It's all in Mandarin. Which one? And he'd be like, give me a minute. Du -du 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 -du. Go into this one. Edwin, they're not letting me in. Quick. And you know what? Despite those tiny little hiccups, it was fabulous. Well done. It was it was really good. And I you were working, and so were so many people working so hard behind the scenes. I just really want to thank you on here to say, you know what, you you twenty two hours was not enough for me. I could have I could have tried to do the forty eight. Maybe that's a fundraiser that I can do. Um, I I no, thought that was, that was brilliant. I do wacky things to raise money for the charity here, so maybe yeah. maybe that's my next one. Forty eight hours just sitting there live. Uh, that would be interesting. I will support you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh my God! Show me that bottle. Is that an actual big long Coca Cola bottle, or is that the one that you refill? Uh, yes. Yes. That's a refill. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Right. Are you positively curious about anything else? Oh yes. Um, but the thing is, the answers to it, that Edwin gives sometimes, when I ask some something I was wanted to ask about, and then he gives an answer that I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets a little bit uh, different. But what I, what I, what I really think it's um, because what you talked about in your organization that you have some people who are so loose focused and others are not. Um, during my time within social work in different organizations, uh, especially when I was convinced that solution focus is my way and no other way is, is, is going to make me happy anymore. Um, but most organizations what I have been into are really problem focused. And um, a lot of the time I was, the, I was maybe the only one um, being solution focused, which made it quite, Hard sometimes because even if you are convinced solution focus is the way, and then you are with your colleagues in a meeting or whatever, before you know it, you are also problem focused again, and you know it, so you can change it. But because you know, I've I've had several meetings where you know when there was this meeting when there was uh, talk about the client, you know talk about the history of the client and the problem and the ask the question. And I often was thinking, okay, so now I'm now you're mentioning all the problems that there are. And you're asking your colleagues for how, how how do I fix this? And then after a while, after listening a while, then I was always asking, so can you say something about what you're happy about or what's going what still is going well? Or does the boy have a hobby or <laughs> things like that, you know? <laughs> and, um, and then they would always say, oh, good question, good question. Yeah. But then we have this meeting like two weeks later and the same thing would happen here. So in, in the end, so I was always thinking, how can you be in organization from different approaches and still um, help each other in a way that works for you? 
how's that in how's that in your organization? <clears throat> and and the closest I can relate to that, um, and and because I because I I don't have the need to change, um, another person's mm -hmm. uh, perspective, mm -hmm. uh, right now because I don't feel the need to, mm -hmm. um. And so the closest, um, I think, example that I could think of, um, a couple of years back, um, I was in this case conference with the client uh, and with uh, the social workers uh, as well as maybe child protection, uh, child protection uh, officer. Uh, so they were having a, a case conference about safety plan, mm -hmm. about about getting the clients to uh, uh, to follow the, the safety plan that they come up with uh, right. for for the client, and they have not been uh, the the client has the or the parents have not been uh, you know following the the, the plan, you know, uh, and so there was concern about safety issue. Right. All right. So I was sitting in there. Uh, uh, listening to the conversation, and and so of course very problem focused, right? So they were talking about this, you know, these are the things that you're supposed to do. Why did you not do it? You know, you you are you are not not supposed to not do this. You are supposed to do this, and so that the kind of uh, tone and the kind of uh, and of course then you get the. The, the client who's also fighting back, who's who's trying to defend himself, who is you know thinking that you're not being fair, you know, and, and, and things like that. And and so that happens and uh, and and finally I had the opportunity and I I just I just kind of say uh uh you know could I could, could I say something and I I was curious about uh the strengths of the client, how they manage to cope and persevere uh, to now. Uh, I know how as parents that they continue to be concerned about, even though they might not have followed the, the safety plan, but they, they are still concerned and worried and still love the children. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was highlighting and I was highlighting uh, how they, you know, so really, uh, you know, exceptions and strengths and, and just just asking and, and uh giving them compliments uh to them about that so uh, i was speaking obviously a different language right from the other people but at the end of the day I, i'm i'm still trying to say now you know so so all of you so all of you want this this is still what you want and so maybe you know the the safety plan is designed to help you in that uh, but I, I want to highlight the strengths that I have. And I don't know about the rest because like I say, I, I, I've, I've no, I don't have that wish to kind of change what they are doing. Um, but I think that change, how the client become more receptive now mm. to the suggestion from the others, even though they are coming from a very problem focused <laughs> position and uh, they are telling them and teaching them uh, uh, what to do. Uh, so it was an interesting experience for me uh, because I was not, uh, and they didn't say, wow, no, you, you did solution for, that was fantastic. I was, no, none of those things. Um, but I noticed that in that session that, that the client changed and they were really more open and receptive to, to, to the suggestion by the other people. So uh, for me, it's, it's doing that shift, making that, that, that shift just, just, in that, just at that moment, uh, I know, for, for them. Uh, so despite all the whatever negative, I, I know there are still some people who notice the positive things. Mm. Uh, and I think that was enough or good enough for the client um and and later on you know uh yeah so and, and later on uh it, and it was quite interesting because it was also a session where uh they were they they were prepared to say 
I don't want to work with your agency, which is my agency. I, I want to change to a different agency. And then uh, by the end of that meeting, they decided, okay, I'm going to stay with your agency. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to continue to work with you to achieve uh, these things as well. Uh, yeah, I, again, I, sorry, Mark, I, I'm not sure if I, if I answer your question or not. Uh, because I, I think it, it's not easy. I, I think mm -hmm. um, to, to change the mindset um, uh, of others, uh, particularly if if we are if you know if we are saying that this is a very good model, this is fantastic model, uh, this is like the best model ever. Even if we believe in that, you know, in our heart, uh, you know, saying it and another person hearing that. Uh, uh, you know, the natural reaction is that they're going to be defensive. They, they're going to say, what do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, and, I, I, and I remember really, really early on, uh, it was very, very, very interesting because early on with Insu, you know, um, this issue, you know, so this issue that we are facing right now happens even 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, because because we were learning, right? Like we, we were literally the first batch who was learning this in, in Singapore. And then like there are 30 of us from different diverse agency and center, right? And we are probably the, the, the few first people who will learn this and we're going to go back to our agency and start practicing this. Uh, and, and because it was a one year program, so we had opportunity where we come back together and, and so I think in those sessions where we have the opportunity to talk to Insu, so we ask her this, we say, you know, I'm the only one in my agency and, and I'm doing this and I love this and this is so great. But, you know, how do I share this with my other colleagues? <laughs> you know, how do I tell them that this is the best? You know? and, 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 and her advice to us is, don't do it. <laughs> You know, really, you know, we, we were we were we were we were taught to really downplay uh you know downplay the learning uh, that we have <laughs> uh the things that we that we are doing uh uh so that you know uh so that we kind of elicit empathy from other people to kind of accept us and, and it's really because it was really tough because because you know, can you imagine you're the only one who, who went for the training and then you're, mm -hmm. you're back in the organization and then you have your other colleagues who have who has been practicing different approaches all their life and mm -hmm. then you come back and you say that, yeah, I know, I've, I've just been to this wonderful workshop, fantastic, you know, da, 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 you know, and, 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 you know, imagine how the other people will react to that, yeah? Uh, it's not going to be good. They're not going to be, wow, yeah, great for you. I'm happy for you, yes, you know. Yeah, I should join you. Kind of, that's not gonna happen. Uh, um, yeah. So, so we, so you know, we were taught maybe a bit of that reverse psychology <laughs> stuff uh, uh, to to allow people to maybe accept uh, us and, and mm. what we are really doing, and then by us then showing uh, you know the skills and the knowledge that we have learned from the workshop uh, slowly integrating it into our work uh, and having people then be curious about, hey, you're mm -hmm. doing this, I'm curious about it. And maybe learn from that. So, so yeah, so it, it, it was interesting. Yeah, it, it was interesting. Even back then we have this because really we are, we are the first one uh, and, and we, we have actually asked Insu about this as well. Mm. And, uh, yeah, uh, and, and re I remember her saying this to us. Yeah. Mm. So I again I, I don't know how that is useful and helpful for you. Uh but but yeah, that's maybe two stories that, that comes into my, my head. <laughs> it's always uh, very useful, of course. Um, um um I don't I don't really for myself I don't want, want to change other people. Mm. Um but I always but, but I do recognize when you are a fan of a certain something, um, it will show. Yes, it always show. Yes. Um, and I'm 
what 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 I've always been looking for, and uh, like I said, especially when you are the only one in the organization that is fan of that, you know. Mm. Um, sometimes you need others. Yes. You are in a certain situation and you want to talk to them, and it becomes difficult if the one that is able or wanting to support you is, is going to support you from, from the other approach. Yeah. Right? Asking you the questions from, from a more from focused uh, mm. in that mm. while mm. you are putting things in place from a solution mm. standpoint. Mm. <laughs> that, mm. that, that, that's mm. what I was wondering about. Um, it's so true, isn't it? And, and, and not want to change others. You know, but you always influence others, of course. But um, yeah, and, and yeah. Twice, of course. yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm just thinking about. Yeah, I'm just thinking about. You know, have I have I been in that position as well, where where I've been asked. A, 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 uh, I, no, but I, I, you had your mate Edwin. You could have just sent a. Recording to Insu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't know I, I but but Mark, I I am just thinking like I I'm not sure if even if they ask me that that problem focus question I I would know how to answer as well, um, be, because because you know once like I, I don't know about about you but I think once once you kind of uh, uh learn about this uh. Most of the time, if not all of the time, when you when you see something, you, you are really thinking from that from that from that frame of reference already. Like mm -hmm. so so when we look at you know, uh, when we look at client situation, when we look at a, a problem or the we, we always come from that and we are always looking at that. So I, I'm not sure if I, I, I yeah, I, I don't know if, if a colleague was to ask me something that is problem focused. Uh, I don't know if I would be able to answer that as well. Um, uh, yeah, because it's different, because it would not be how I was thinking or how I am thinking right. about that situation. But, that, yeah. that, so, uh, hmm. but that sometimes is, is, is hard because I, I remember in my in my last um, organization, which was a mental health organization, I was helping this father with this child. And hmm. there were some concerns from my colleagues about this father, about... Mm. Capacities or whatever. So they asked, "What do you think about his capacities?" And I, you know, I said, "I don't think anything about his capacities." Mm. You know? mm. <laughs> and I cannot see into his head, you know, mm. you know, because they wanted to test him if he is maybe uh, from a lower cognitive uh, level. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm just looking what he's doing for his daughter. You know, mm, mm, mm. it's like that. Mm, mm. Oh, your, your focus is different, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah, the focus uh, is different. Yeah, that's um, yeah. it's difficult to being drawn into that conversation, which I actually didn't want to be drawn in, but you know. Yeah, mm. and, it, and it is difficult, and and I agree with both uh, you, Mark, and Edwin, and I find myself in some meetings. You know, there, there's questions asked, but. I try to answer them in the most solution-focused way as possible. Mm. Um, mm. But you can sometimes get caught out, especially when you're at a child protection meeting and they're using the signs of skate safety mm. uh, and they start tutting, you know, the families are four, but what makes them a four, not a three? Um, and they kind of look at you, the chair looks at you like, are we really going to waste time doing that? Yes, we are. It's not a waste of time. We're going we're gonna to do that. Um, mm. Because like Edwin said, actually highlighting the strengths is far more important because there's so many little nuggets in that. Yeah. I know you did it before. Can you do it again? That transferable skill, there's there's so many little nuggets in there that you could use. But yeah, it is. it can be difficult working in an organization sometimes where uh, you don't have the like-minded people to kind of share that with you. Um, but yeah, Edwin. Yes. Mm. Come on, tell us a secret, what you're really up to. No one's watching other than Mark and I. Go. 
what, what, I, are your what, hopes, what are your hopes and dreams in the solution focused world? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I am I am really hoping that all of you who are working so hard, you know, promoting and sharing and, and spreading the idea, that uh, that you continue to have the strength and uh, and that drive and that motivation, uh, <laughs> yes, to, to to do it. Really, really, I I am so impressed by uh, by things that I'm I'm seeing and and you know things that I I myself might not. Uh, do but I I'm really impressed by uh, you know by by you know like you doing this you know and, and really you know uh, like even wanting to talk to me I'm like really when when your invitation came I'm like okay you know what's that to, to talk about you know I'm I'm quite quite uh, normal there's nothing that I you know and then but but you find that you know you find in that that curiosity. In, in, in wanting to to get to know and and all these things, uh, you know, and, and really hearing what Mark talks about just now about you know learning about this and the passion and all these things, I I hope that you know that uh, that you and and everyone like you you know who 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 are really uh, passionate about this continue to to share that and and to uh, you know to, to spread that in our own ways. I think in all. Mm. In all our little own ways, I think we are influencing others. Mm. Uh, you know, and we don't have I, I you know I don't think we have the all the answer all the time. Uh, and sometimes we, we we really need to work within that work within that organizational structure. Mm. Uh, really, yeah, we, because because. It, you know, remember, like I say, right? We we brought that up to Insu, and and sometimes we, we challenge her and say that. Come on, Insu, you know what you say is yeah. But when it comes to assessment, all right, the uh, some of the uh, our partners or the ministry or the government would need this report and this report in phrase in this manner. Uh, I don't have the power to change those things. No, I can I can put in a few. I can put in the strengths and all these things, but they are not asking for that. Mm. All right, they have these other assessments that is that might be problem mm. focused. But it's but. You know, I have my other roles that you know to, to play as well. Yeah. And 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 I, I thought the other very wonderful thing that she taught us back then in, in how we survive in our organization is then knowing when to wear the hat that you wear. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes in the organization, if you have a particular role, uh, yeah. sometimes you need to wear that hat, you wear yeah. the hat. Uh, and sometimes you know, if you could wear the solution focused hat. Then you wear that because that's mm. how you know. At the end of the day, that the practice, like that, that 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 interaction with the client. So, so I think it's a choice. I I think then what I take away is really the choice that she has given me. Mm. Uh, I know when to and and how to. Um. Yeah. So yes. So I I hope that you know. Um. Yes. That all of us continue. Yeah. Uh, to to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think we're blessed to be part of the uh, solution focused community, yes. uh, and, and and in one way, although the lockdown and COVID is is not great, and a lot of people have suffered and lost loved ones, mm. it has brought us all closer together, mm. uh, and we're meeting people that I didn't even know existed. Because mm. uh, mm. to me, solution focused, um, obviously we weren't out there; we were just working, working, working. Um, mm. But it was just a few people, and then you know. Consequently, I've met Mark and met yourself, and I think it's been amazing times for us anyway. Yeah. But I'm actually going to use this time, uh, the next couple of minutes, to be very selfish, if that's okay, guys. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. So, Edwin, Mark, so as you know, or you, or you will find out, so Joe and I co-founded Family Based Solutions. Right. And the charity basically works with children who are abusive towards their parents, domestic abuse, perpetrators, all forms of domestic abuse. On May the 29th and 30th, are you ready? 
we have a weekend fundraiser. So you can choose to do whatever you like to raise funds for the charity. So have a little think about what you guys can do. It can be anything. So Bieber and I will be um, skydiving. Skydive. Yeah. You can skydive wherever you are, Singapore, wherever you are, if you want to do that. Um, I did want to sit in a bath where people throw uh, worms or, or things at me, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. The Animal Rights Service said I'm not allowed to do that. Okay. So that's gone out the window. But, yeah, have a little... Skydiving is allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can throw yourself <laughs> at the plane, but you can't have your you can't have a worm on your head. <laughs> I love you. So have a little think. I'm not going to let go of this because I'm trying to get so many people internationally to be supporting. When is that again? 29th uh, and the 30th. So you choose either date of May, either date, and you can do whatever you like to raise funds for the charity. So how, much, uh, how much do you want? To, are you thinking of raising? Yes. However many pennies you can get. And is there a minimum that you would like to have? I haven't thought about that. Some total? I have not thought about that. Thank you uh, for asking that question, Mark. Now I need to get back to you with that. This is why I love Mark. He always makes me think. So I love him, but I hate him at the same time. He makes me think about things. Mm. Yeah. He's very, very good at that. He's so good at that. He does it just so naturally. Mm. I'll get back to you on that. my questions. <laughs> yeah, okay. But what 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 we've actually found, which is quite sad, it's lovely but sad, is that as a charity, we're more supported internationally yeah. by you guys um, than you're on your own home, mm. and that's quite sad, I think. Um, because if I if I need advice on size of safety or whatever, I know where to go. If I need to call you, Edwin, I'll call you. But actually, locally, it's it's quite sad that people don't support their own charities. Mm. So we're reaching out. Let's show them. Yep. So right. Don't, I'll get back to don't you. Don't you get any okay. grant from from your local authorities or NHS or whatever? It's too much red tape, Mark. Like Edwin was saying, the protocols and da 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 da, and um, some protocols obviously we need to have, but I I, I don't like those the the tick boxes. Families aren't tick boxes, and they you know what model do you use? Well, it depends on the family that's in front of me. Each family is different, and that's the beauty of being not part of being part of the the council, or, or because mm. you're your own charity, you can make up your mind as to what the best action is for the family using their best hopes um so that's the beauty that we have which is why i don't like i'm a bit funny like that a bit funny but anyway mark you are a fantastic co-host I yes. you, you you're, you're like an international husband i like it and <laughs> You, you are, and Joe, Joe was so jealous. I won't, I won't repeat on air what Joe called me when, when he found out that I replaced him with Mark. Mm -hmm. um, who he, he admires Mark, by the way. He really, really does, but he was a bit jealous. And Edwin, you are such an inspiration, and I'm, I'm so glad I stayed up for 22 hours, just saying, and <laughs> you, you were absolutely fantastic, and please do host it again next year. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, and I love the work that you're doing, and I love your social media presence, and let's have more of it. Thank you. You're Thank great. you very much. Thank you for having right. me. Yeah. And on Wednesday, we've got Elisa Cortage from Canada. Yeah. Uh, where we'll be looking at what she's been what she's been up to, because I know she's been a busy bee as well, and I think we're talking about signs of safety. Um, so I'll put that up tonight. So thank you very much. Can I ask you, Edwin and um, Mark, to just stay here while I end the live chat, just so I can say thank you to you personally? See you later, everyone.